Each successive generation of military aircraft sets new, higher standards for capability. And Typhoon is no exception. But it also embodies the key characteristics that likewise made its predecessors outstanding in their own time. Such as maneuverability, a large part of the camel's success, and integral to the effectiveness of the Spitfire. aircraft that also had striking aerodynamics. Multi-role effectiveness goes back to Typhoon's namesake, the first Typhoon. Benefits of advanced engine technology have their origins in the Meteor, the first operational jet in RAF service. Speed, meanwhile, is an echo of the Hunter, which in its day set a world speed record and did so while still being an elegant design. Where the modern Typhoon differs from the earlier aircraft, though, is that it has all of their characteristics. The present-day Typhoon's wide range of attributes is the beneficiary, too, of a long evolutionary process of constantly improving technology in European industry, in manufacturing methods. Materials. Flying controls. Weapons. Instruments and avionics. Radar. Typhoon also follows on in the tradition of tornado, 
the successful first example of a European multinational manufacturing partnership. Like Tornado 2, the Typhoon program has a major economic impact. It's a unique heritage of almost a hundred years. And it's produced one of the finest military aircraft ever built. It's very easy to fly, and what that means is it leaves me with the capacity to operate the aircraft in its swing roll and multi-roll capability. So as an operational pilot, I can fight my way to the target using air-to-air -air weapons. I can then deliver a precision-guided bomb on a target and then I can fight my way home uh, at the end of the mission. The Eurofighter programme has been extremely important for the European partner nations, their industries, their air forces, because it's delivered a cutting edge capability that's out there doing the job day by day, but also brought the industrial benefits and innovation that are being enjoyed on other programmes now. And first is the older generation aircraft. Eurofighter has brought some new manufacturing techniques. So it has about 80% composite structures. It also makes the aircraft very light and very strong, comparatively speaking. And so over 100,000 people work directly or indirectly on the programme. It's also used some techniques such as making the full planes at the front of the aircraft, which uses a welded titanium put through at an extremely high temperature, so it makes a lightweight structure which is immensely strong. It's fed across from the military into wider industry. It's very easy to make the mistake in designing aeroplanes to concentrate on one particular characteristic or feature, but I am confident that in Eurofighter we have achieved the correct balance of all the design attributes that a fighter aeroplane needs. That could be its thrust, it, that could be its manoeuvrability, that could be its weapons carriage, all of its defensive capabilities, and it could be the, the way the pilot interfaces with the cockpit. And all those aspects were covered in the design for Typhoon.